Yes, I, I think so. Students are joined. So we can start now. So uh, students, uh, today what we are going to discuss, we're going to discuss uh, grammar today. And uh, as you all know, for your class 9th and 10th, there is a major, major change. That is, our focus is on integrated grammar. Now, this grammar, it is not like what you have been doing in your earlier classes. It is not as your do as uh, directed, right? That you will not get sentences here and complete uh, using uh, this uh, tense or write the correct verb form, right? Or use a preposition. No, that is your do as directed. What you're going to get, you will get an exercise here, which you will have to you know, use your multiple grammar items that you have discussed, right? And of course, here in our class 10th, our focus when we do uh, integrated grammar, it is, yes, that we keep on revising the things that we have discussed before. So as we do these exercises, it is very, very natural. We'll be discussing all the other items that we have, uh, you know, like discussed in the earlier classes, one by one. Now, when I discuss it today, what am I going to do? I have editing exercises for you and things that we need to remember about our editing exercises. Editing, what is edit? Edit is to change, to make a correction. Now, when you have a grammar exercise for editing, that exercise, it can have an error in it. That is, yes, error means a mistake. There's a wrong word and you have to correct it. Okay, so how are we going to do it? We have incorrect word and the correct word. You write the incorrect word and you will write the correction alongside. Okay, then you can have an editing passage for omission. What is omission? There's something missing. So what are you going to do? You are going to supply the missing word, right? And now when we are here with this paragraph, we have to be very, very confident about all our grammar, you can say skills or all the parts of the speech or the grammar items that we have done in our earlier classes. Generally, when we do editing, what are the common mistakes that we come across? The most, most common is subject verb agreement, right? Okay, right here, you have to remember that what a subject is going to take what verb. So there has to be an agreement between the number and the gender of the subject and the verb, okay, right? So we have discussed this and I'll be discussing this in detail in another lecture, okay, right? Then you have tenses. So you have to remember here, like of course a passage there, you just, uh, you can't uh, start with one tense and end with another. So that uniformity, that continuity, and even in the sentence also. So if it is present continuous, if it is past perfect, what tense has to be there? And does it agree with the subject, right? Is it making sense? These things you have to remember. So an error, it can be of a preposition also. Simple prepositions we have. What is it here? Yeah, the book is on the table. The cat is sleeping under the, what, under the box, right? So little things here. Right? So he jumped into the moving train. Okay? Right? So things that we have to remember. Where are we going to put the preposition? What is the position of the preposition in a sentence? So when we do these exercises here, we have to keep in mind all the things. So in a way, when we do editing, it is something which tests your perfect grammar. Do you know, recognize these grammar items? Are you able to identify the mistake that is there, right? Then you have your models, okay? Like, of course, you have your primary, your auxiliaries here, then you have your models here. And models, of course, here, things that you have to remember, that is, yes, what are the models? And do they change? No. When does which one come in the sentence? What is the model? It expresses the mode of the sentence. Is it a possibility? 
is it a suggestion right is it a capability right is it an obligation is it a necessity this these are the kinds of modes that the model expresses so according to the sentence we will be using that then come your articles and your determinants your articles your a and the your right okay and of course your determinants the various kinds we have done your possessives your demonstratives all that your distributive everything here that we will be discussing right so one by one we will have to go through all these grammar items so that when we do our editing we know what to put where okay so today i have a few exercises for you and these exercises they focus on the models right yes here so please uh, look at the screen over here and uh, we have a late comer also okay all of you yes so today i'm sharing the screen with you all but next time when i discuss uh, the grammar items with you i request you know like request and i expect you to have your grammar book with you okay so please find your grammar book wherever it is hidden take it out dust it and keep it ready so if you have your book with you you can do it directly otherwise you can complete it later on so note down the answers which we'll be discussing today now let's start here as i said i have picked up these exercises of models now what are the models here as i have written over here you have shall should will can may must ought need dare right and of course when i talk about will i have the would also when we talk about can could may might must now what is the function of these models in the sentence right they do not change their form like the other verb forms right so you have your uh, auxiliaries there your primary auxiliaries here helping verbs there right so they change accordingly like right? of course is am are was were they, there is a change over there but if it is can it is going to be that only right so and where am i going to use would where am i going to use shall where do i use may so as we discuss these sentences let us also find out about the then i'll say what uh, the various uh, roles or various ways in which they are used now look at it over here please look at the screen the government may not run away from its responsibility of providing protection what may the government do hint is there this is editing passage but this passage is of models okay right so you will be able to identify page number is 221 i think so let me have a look at the book here yes open to the page yeah it is uh, yes page 222 all of you you can open your books over there to page 222 and things that you need to remember when do we use may and when do we use can can you tell me when are we using can can is ability right yes i can lift this box may is yes right once again may is also an uh, you can uh, say an ability here but it is also you know like more formal may is a seeking permission yes may is also a possibility right yes and of course may is may you live long right so you have in those sentences here and uh, may also right uh, we uh, work or you can uh, say we eat uh, so that we may live right so yeah so here so may and can the government may not run away so may is not appropriate over here so can can is yes the ability when do we use it here right so can as in a possibility and can is also for you can't avoid it you can't run away from it okay yes so first error over here let me see your answers here 
what may the government do once again what can the government do yes the answer is that it ought to tackle the problem of terrorism with an iron hand the answer is that it ought or here with ought or to right this is simple you are just have to identify the model and of course the model has not been that it ought to tackle the problem of terrorism with an iron hand the police need not be need not the police needs to be yes the police need to be or the police must be also is there right equipped with the latest weapon so this is there yes it has to be at uh, definite thing that needs to happen even the laws must be amended suitably to deal with terrorists so once again even the laws must be the laws should be this is something which needs to be done it's our obligation it's our duty okay right done this one i'm not getting any responses i'm not getting any responses here yes have you done okay fine next one whenever we do any grammar exercises let us read the sentences first so that we get an idea what we have to correct and what to be wrong my school principal should get up early rain or storm he may go for a walk even when ill no one will stop him from going out he shall always say that morning walk need cure him of any illness and he was right now when we talk about habits okay would right something that happened in the past he could run 5 kilometers easily right okay yes now of course here will would will is used differently here and would is different right so first a sentence has been done for you all my school principal should get up early he would get up early it was a habit it was something that he did rain or storm he may go for a walk he may go for a walk he would go for a walk am i correct even when ill no one would stop him from going out no one could stop him from going out he shall always say that morning walk he shall always say he would always say yes we have to see this also no it has to agree with that he would always say that morning walk need cure him of any illness and he was right morning walk could cure him of any illness and he was right okay are you writing the answers i'm not getting your responses what's wrong with you class 10 are you writing down the answers give me a yes or no are we writing yes okay right next one gandhi ji could lead a very disciplined life it's could is ability yeah he could have he didn't but he did so there's an error here it is would in his ripe old age he might walk might a possibility and should leave youngsters far behind and we have uh, seen about mahatma gandhi and how yes uh, he would walk they leading from the front and with so much of strength there yeah. okay right so yes in his ripe old age he could walk for miles and would leave youngsters far behind here also you can use could also whenever he wrote he could use his own hand and not get the matter type he would use his own hand okay right so sometimes yes it's the same word oft repeated now look here this is a different kind of editing this one is for your what incorrect and correction this is your errors right what is this one 
this one is for missing or it is an omission okay yes now we have to find which word is missing and we have to supply that word over here children drink milk regularly otherwise they suffer from undernourishment elders also take it if they so like but those who not afford it should not mind they take pulses fruit or vegetables as an alternative we purchase milk of good quality only so now where there is a missing word what are you going to put you going to put a slash you going to put a slash okay right so children should drink milk regularly yeah so yeah, they they should it's a necessity for good health otherwise they suffer from undernourishment okay must is genuinely used rules and regulations then must right so here it is yes it's a necessity okay elders also take it if they so like elders can also take it if they so like right but those who not afford it those who can not afford it should not mind <coughs> sorry they take pulses fruit or vegetables as an alternative they can take pulses fruit or vegetables as an alternative we should purchase milk of good quality only yeah i write in answers yes is this done please solve it in your book and for your homework you're going to do the next page if we have not done it so you will complete it okay and i'll be discussing it with you tomorrow before i proceed with the next topic okay yes and uh, you'll be getting the passages for editing and your gap filling and everything regularly as practice also now let us see this here so right an average child speak clearly when he's two or three years of age some experience some difficulty as a caring caring parent you do many things read to the child when you but you never do in a tense or loud voice the child know that you love him okay let us do this now an average child can speak clearly so jenny they start speaking clearly some experience some difficulty some might experience some difficulty or can also is also there might as a possibility right yes as a caring parent you do many things so you are obliged to do you should do many things read to the child when you dash when you can whenever you have time but you never do never do you it is a certainty right that but you should never do or you must you should never do in a tense or loud voice the child know that you love him the child should know that you love him right now let me take a look at you all and yes i am uh, which one which one yes the child should know that you love him right okay yes right fine must also you can write down the child must know that uh, here should is more appropriate i think so let's look at the next one accidents happen anywhere and when they do they result in injuries the first aid mean a difference between life and death it prevent any permanent loss a knowledge of what to be done in such cases till the doctor arrives always be helpful now remember that the models will not change right yes here okay 
we can write the child must know, but generally, I, I think so the child should know, right? So there are a lot of possibilities, you know, orals, there, there's more than one option also sometimes, right? So depending on uh, the message or the meaning here, right? Accidents can happen anywhere. And when they do, they result in injuries, right? The first eight here, and when they do, they result in injuries. Is there a missing word over here? Is there a missing word? Yes, they can result in injuries. Naturally, accidents happen in accidents. So with the accidents, what happened? Injuries happen, okay? So they can result in injuries. The first aid mean a difference between life and death. The first aid, once again, can mean a difference between life and death. It prevent any permanent loss. It can prevent any permanent loss or it might prevent any permanent loss. A knowledge of what be done in such cases. A knowledge of what must be done in such cases till the doctor arrives. Yes, there's a missing word over here also. Yes. A knowledge of what must be done in such cases till the doctor arrives. Yes, can always be helpful. Okay. Let me look at you all and uh, let me see what you people have done. Can I see your answers, please? Have you written them down? Is this clear? Have you done these passages? Have you? Yes, okay, that's good. And now you will be completing the other passages which are here. Two more paragraphs are there and we have one blank also. Right, so for today's work, you will be completing this in your book, right? Yes, and of course, now just keep your book with you on your study table. And uh, yes, so, right, so we'll have Friday or Saturday, any day as a grammar period, okay? Right, yes.